now. If I don't talk to her for a couple of days, she don't like it. She takes it personal. And I can feel it brewing. As I come in the house, I think, oh, she's going to want to talk. <laughs> she says to me, come and sit by the island and tell me a story. She says, you must have a story for me. As if I'm an endless supply of stories. Like a lot of men, I used all my stories up years ago. <laughs> I've kept a few back for holidays. Because they're torture, aren't they? And they torture 14 nights staring at each other. <laughs> all out and burnt. What do you mean, what have I been up to? I've been with you! <laughs> you start talking absolute nonsense to each other, don't you? You just say anything. I think my flip-flops are breaking, babe. <laughs> when we turned up, they were flipping and flopping. <laughs> One of them's flapping a little bit now. <laughs> you see other couples, don't you? And you just look at them. Come over here. <laughs> Save us. Just come over. <laughs> Help. <laughs> she looked at me in a moment of terrible desperation. On the last holiday, she said, um, I saw a three-legged dog in the village earlier. <laughs> I said, babe, I don't know where we go with this. She's like, <laughs> you know, I could normally find something, but... I don't know where we go with a three-legged dog, you know. I'm just saying, that's all, I'm just saying. Are you out or were you out? <laughs>